Okay, last thing we're going to do is I'm going to mix these up again. You say, no, Bill, what are you doing? That's okay. Don't worry. Don't panic. You know me. We'll fix it. Okay. You remember our guides. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab a guide. And I'm going to pull it right down there. Now, that is the line that I want these booths to be aligned to. And I also want this one to be here at a quarter of an inch. My booths will snap and glue to these lines. They'll snap and glue to each other also. Though that's a little bit different and we will talk about that later on. When I drag the booth and it hits that line, that guide, see that? It says glue to guide, but you see the little red box. The little red box lets me know that it is glued to that line. Now, this is kind of a hard thing. They call it snap and glue. And I don't know how to describe it other than you have to try it. You actually have to do it. If you take your mouse when you're dragging things around, and it's really more of a visual thing than an actual feel, but it almost feels like they're snapping into these grid lines. And they are. It's very hard to get these to go place these items in between these grid lines here. I can't really place it by moving it. Now I can do it with my arrows, arrow buttons I should say, on my keyboard. But I wouldn't be able to do it by dragging. And even at that, they're still snapping into the half points. So if I want to, and we'll take a look, let me snap, let me glue it there and glue it there. See, now it's glued in two places, and I have the red handles. That lets me know that it's glued. Let's pull that off for right now, and go to my Tools menu, and choose Snap and Glue. See, and there is a lot of options in here. Most people don't use them very much. Currently active, Snap. I'm going to turn that off, and look at that. Everything else gets grayed out. Let me uncheck Glue. See, now I can slide this anywhere I want, and it's not snapping, it's not gluing. Maybe this is what you want. It all depends on your drawing and how you're using it. If I go ahead and choose Snap to the grid, that's my grid. The grid is off, but it's snapping to the ruler subdivisions and right now my ruler is every one of these is a quarter of an inch an eighth of an inch and a sixteenth so it's kind of snapping every sixteenth so that might even be something that you want for right now for us we're going to leave these on because i want these to be snapped onto my grid line, excuse me, my uh, glued onto my guide. Let me distribute these again. And remember, we saw this before. If I grab that guide and move it, they're all glued to that guide, and they stay exactly where they are. They didn't move there because it's no longer glued. Snap and glue. Let's go ahead and let's do another one. Snap. And I will distribute these again, just like that. And I will delete my guides. Actually, before I delete my guides, let me show you this. I showed you how to turn off those connection points. 
We'll go to view guides. They disappear as well. They're still there. I just can't see them. So let me go ahead and I don't need them anymore. I'm going to delete them. All right. Looking pretty good. Let's save it again. And that's about it for this section. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.